Hi there, thanks for watching. This is the first in a series of how to's and tips and tricks videos which I'm going to be adding to the Mystic Guy YouTube channel. And if you do have a question about how do you do something, then please feel free to get hold of me. You can email me at avon, A V O N, at bbs.geek.nz or just simply uh, get hold of me through the FSS, let's start that again, FSXnet. Um, messaging system because I lurk there and I'd be only too happy to uh, take on some suggestions for other videos and how to's. Now without further ado what I'm going to walk through today is how do you connect your bulletin board. We know already that we can connect to message areas, echo areas and file bases but did you know that you can send special net mail to a hub system to alter those connections and those are commands called area fix and file fix and to do that we need to file up, fire up our uh, mystic system and I'm going to sign in as red72 and I'm going to jump into the message menu and I will choose the fsxnet group and I will go into the area that is netmail number two. Now I'm going to send a netmail to the FSXnet hub and I'm addressing it to a special address called area fix. This is the command or the address that you want to send things to when you want the hub to tell you what areas um, you are subscribed to in terms of what it's feeding you, echo areas, or indeed what ones um, you could subscribe to. So I'm sending this netmail to 21 one slash 100 that's correct area fix and my subject line is the password the area fix password that I have set up with the hub now if you're a member of uh, any network you'll be you'll know what this password is sometimes it's the same password you use for your bink p session in my case the dummy password is let me in and then we get to compose our netmail I'm going to send two commands and they are preceded with a percentage sign. The first one is simply help because I want it to send me some commands, some help messages and or my options and the other one I'm going to do is list with a percent sign in front of it, list. Pretty sure those are the two commands I need but if something's amiss we'll find out shortly. I'm going to save that and I will um, fire up my mystic server which very quickly should find that I've composed something and is now in the process of sending that off to the hub which I think it's already just done. Now over on the hub side of things the system will have received my netmail and it's now processing it with um, a response which will come back to the system in just a tick. I'll pause the video just so that we don't hang around for too long and show you what comes in in just a second. Righto, time has passed and I know that the message has been processed almost immediately at the hub. I'm going to fire up my command prompt and just run Fido poll uh, 211100 just to poll the hub straight away and pick up my response which is coming in in this packet because I know that my mystic server is running you will see um, well there's the event command showing netmail out but you'll also recall from a previous video that uh, when I ran that Fido poll just then it would have created a semaphore called echo mail in and within the next 60 seconds the um, the uh, event that is keeping an eye out for those semaphores will fire and toss the incoming echo mail and net mail into my system and there it goes now blink of an eye and just to double check that because I like to take you right through things from scratch we'll go into the logs and we'll take a look at the mutual log which I'll bring up on the screen and at the bottom here um, here we go you'll see that it's importing a, um, a message from area fix to Joe user which is the uh, the name that I set myself up on. It's also found a file which is one of the earlier node lists still sitting in the inbound which it doesn't know what to do with and I guess that's because there is a missing tick file 
uh, in the inbound directory. So we'll, if I'll just quickly show you that, there it is there. Now I know that I've got a later node list in my system already, so I'm just going to delete that so I don't keep seeing that message in my logs. Now if we go back to the um, message side of things and I read new messages, you'll see now that I've got an area fix response. And in there, um, my pr request has been processed by the hub and it's going to include a list of help at the end of the message and the percent list command is showing me that I've got a list of available areas which in this case just happens to be one that we're already connected to fsx underscore gen but then there you go there's a whole bunch of information about what area fix is how to do it all the sorts of commands you can send and how you can get the hub to even rescan and send you copies of messages that are sitting on the hub for an echo area that you might have just subscribed to but you want the hub to send you say the last 250 messages that you haven't already uh, seen or maybe the last 30 days worth of messages so check this system out with um, a message network like uh, near you could be the FSX net it could be another one but this principle of sending an area fix net mail to a hub system is really important to get your head around because it allows you to connect and disconnect to echo mail areas that you want to um, be fed by your hub to your system. It will also let you change the compression so instead of sending packets uh, compressed with zip maybe the hub might send them um, in a different compression format. Whatever it is, there it all is there. Now just like uh, we can send netmail to uh, the hub for uh, echo mail areas, message areas, we can also send a special netmail to the hub system to deal with the file base areas because you'll recall we have a couple of file areas that we're connected to, one for the node list, one for the information pack. This time round I'm sending an, a netmail to file fix. Again I'm addressing it to 211100. Yes that's correct and my subject is the password so it's let me in. That's the uh, password that's been set up for this particular node address at the hub. We're using the dummy um, setup node of uh, 211999. So this time round again I'm going to issue, I'll issue the list command and I will issue the help command, percentage help, and I will send that off. A semaphore has been created. It's sitting in the Mystic Semaphore, and there it is there, Netmail out. If I just move the screen over here, hopefully we can uh, watch it all happen straight away. So there's the Netmail out, Semaphore waiting to go. Mystic Internet Server is running. Within 60 seconds it's going to detect that, and it's going to send that outbound Netmail. And then I think it'll call Fidopole and send it out to the hub. So we'll watch that process, and there it goes, boom. And I will now just pause the video, and then I will run a manual FIDO poll just to pull in the hub's response. Stand by. And with the magic of video, we're back. Probably 60 seconds has passed, and I'm now going to call up my command prompt and run FIDO poll just to contact the hub at 211100 to get its response and in comes the packet. You'll see now on the right hand side of your screen echo mail in has been received and again within 60 seconds we're going to see the hub process that uh, semaphore and run the import process. Semaphores are a really cool tool which allow you to pretty much and very easily automate the whole um, import and export of messages and files in and out of your bulletin board system. This is where I kind of wish it actually didn't take quite as long because filling 60 seconds with talk is not as easy as it sounds. So uh, how's your day been? I hope everything's been good. I've managed to dodge mowing the lawns today, although I did have to lug firewood in, which wasn't exactly fun, but there you go. As I record this, it's the middle of winter in New Zealand, so um, firewood is definitely good currency to have. And any second now, hopefully something's going to be coming in. da dee da dee da there we go, it's run, echo mail in. Now I could have forced that process with um, a manual 
Mutil Mail in Command, but I just thought I'd tell you about me lugging firewood in because that's how we roll. Now I need to go back to my bulletin board view and if I go read messages in my netmail and search for new messages, what do you know? There's a um, netmail here called File Fix Response. And when we look at that, we can see that the commands have been processed. The first one I issued was a percent list. And it's showing me all the areas available that I could connect to. Now these ones, remember, are for file bases. So these would be if the hub was hatching out files to your um, bulletin board, your node address, then it would be um, sending them to these respective tags. And it's pretty self-evident. There are a few there that we've already connected to, like the node list and the info pack. But there's obviously other file areas that you connect to. Uh, a couple there, one for the Mystic Bulletin Board software and Mystic Utilities. Uh, there's another one down the bottom there for artwork, uh, ANSI Art. And then after that, it's processed the percent help command. And again, details about how FileFix is used and all the various commands that you can execute. So very quickly, that is a, um, a how-to around sending a hub system area fix and file fix netmail commands, a very useful tool for you to be able to connect and disconnect to both message bases and file areas uh, that are being fed to your bulletin board system. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Keep an eye out for other top tips and tricks and how-tos on this Mystic Guy BBS YouTube channel. Bye for now.